bike rallies have started and a lot of times they stop here in Hicksville because of two bandits brewing uh, Lapitas and uh, Charlie's is that still open Charlie's is closed so. so just downtown bar now uh, and out at the gold golf course That might be closing unless somebody buys it. So you got Two Bandits Brewing, and they just opened a store in Toledo, or they're going to be opening a store in Toledo. Um, good place to eat. Stop in. Looks like there's plenty of parking uh, for the bikes. No one else. But the bikes can take up the whole town, I guess. Yeah, you can see that they take up, look at this, everywhere. Look at all these bikes. Not as much as uh, some bike rallies, but pretty, quite a few bikes for a small little town. Alright, it's been a while, quite a while since I've been in the old workshop. Uh, just been busy with other things. But uh, we got a few projects we got to do in here, so. Penny and I did in high school. Some old tools. But this is all going to go to the barn this year, hopefully. But we're going to use her one last time before we take it all over there. So we just got out of Trader Joe's. They got that over in uh, Fort Wayne now. And look at this. Dill pickle popcorn. We're going to try it both pickle and uh, chip form. I like a lot of them. We got some uh, cool cards that were pretty cheap. And look at this thing. A Danish Kringle in cheesecake flavor. So we'll have to do a vlog on that. I'm going to do a vlog on um, that uh, meat strip that we got from Jack's. And look at this. Uh, Tammy's favorite. Oatmeal Cranberry Dunker. Cho uh, coffee Dunkers. Uh, and we always had to rely on uh, friends of ours to get these for us from Trader Joe's. And now we got Trader Joe's here, so we went and grabbed some. Jefferson Point is uh, landscaping like we do. So we're going to be making a little uh, breakfast this morning, and we're going to use this Joel bacon. And this is the cut of meat that comes out of the pig's uh, cheek. This will be a cheek. Now it will be up here. And this has been uh, smoked and uh, it makes a really good bacon. And if you try it right, um, it comes out almost like a pork rind with crispy fat. And you want to cook this on um, a medium high heat, uh, low or medium low heat, I should say, because you don't want it to burn and it's going to have to cook for a little while. Soften up all these fat, it's fat. And uh, we've also taken uh, the cheap meat out of some fish. So you can get chicken meat out of uh, cheap meat, Joel meat out of uh, pig or fish. And it tastes really good. Uh, we enjoy it. We're going to make a little breakfast BLT. So you can see it fries up real nice and crispy. And uh, doesn't get hard. It just stays light and airy. See it? And so it's like a pork rind almost, but it tastes like bacon. Well, it's better than bacon. I mean, I don't think you can get much better bacon than Jewel bacon. So let's make a BL breakfast BLT with this. Alright, so pretty simple. Uh, just a ciabatta roll. And we got this from Panera Bread while we were there last night. Um, would be good on a bagel too. 
And uh, I'm not even going to toast this, but we're going to throw our Joel bacon on there. We've got a couple uh, just slices of Monterey Colby cheese. And for our mayo, we're going to use this ranch secret sauce. It's a little more tangy. Um, you could use a smoked mayonnaise or whatever type of, uh, or just straight mayonnaise, whatever you like on yours. We're going to put the tomatoes right on the sauce. And then we got this beautiful green, fresh green egg that our, our chickens have given us. And we're going to put this right on top of the cheese. Let's get this on a plate. Now tell me, tell me that wouldn't get you guys started in the morning. I mean, look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. No lettuce. Um, actually, I am going to put a piece of lettuce on there. But, uh. Look at this, perfectly cooked, sunny side up egg. Mm. Now that is going to be good. Let me grab a piece of lettuce. All right, I didn't want to run out and grab some more lettuce. I thought we were out and we are. But I had some spinach, so I threw a couple of our spinach sprigs on there and I think that'll be just as good. Breakfast sandwich of champions. That's a breakfast sandwich of champions. So if you got a big day ahead of you and you ain't gonna have time to eat till supper, make your uh, pork Joel B L E T L B L B S B S E T. I don't know. Whatever. Make yourself a breakfast sandwich. So, not a good breakfast sandwich for the car. Um, it is messy. You are going to want a napkin, but... Mm. Well, go well with a hot cup of coffee and your brand new mug with the Team Will It Grow We Don't Cheat coffee mug found at our teespring store that spinach was um perfect it's even better than i think that i might go with that instead of lettuce every time that little bit of extra bitterness is really nice with this sandwich very good sandwich we'll keep you going all day just wanted to go over this even though the Kringle was gone. This is an authentic Danish Kringle from Wisconsin. OHDanishBakery.com it says it freezes well and you can heat it back up and you can win a Kringle here if you go and enter. And this thing was delicious. Now this came, this one was the cheesecake flavor, but I I think they come in multiple flavors and my mom used to make a braided uh, breakfast uh, pastry kind of like this but she would braid it this was in a circle and the fillings inside the kind of croissant -y type dough and then it has an icing on top just absolutely delicious melts in your mouth This was established in 1949 by Christian Olson. Our family remains true to the traditions of baking, originated in generations to generation. This commitment to quality is evident in everything we bake. Has a light and uh, flaky texture. And that's true. And some of them have fruit fillings, like I said. That's how mom used to make them. They do have a mail order service. And you can order any time. So I encourage you guys to check this out. Uh, it'll be worth it. Now the other taste test I was going to do uh, reminds me of part of an episode. I can't read it because it's like in Austrian or something. Uh, no, it's in English. Yeah, is it English? Thanks for everything. Love, Alexi and Nikki. <sighs> Make you. 
We got a meat cube here. Sweet habanero. Jack Links. I told him I'd give him a taste test. It says it's hot. The only ingredients in this is beef and sugar and a habanero pepper. Cultured celery. Yeast. And it says that includes the added sugar because this is a sweet habanero. So let's dive right in. Single, single serving. Says it comes with this, not to eat it. Now this has uh, seven grams of protein, six grams of carbohydrates, no fibers, uh, 12, six grams of added sugar, 23 milligrams of sodium, so a lot of salt, and uh, 20 milligrams of cholesterol. One gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 2.5 total fat what it looks like like a meat log it's not stiff it's flexible it smells like jerky right off the bat really sweet Tastes like sweet meat. Now the heat's coming on. Very thick. Chewy. Duke, you want some? Hmm? You do, don't you, boy? See if Duke likes it. Oh. Do you like it, Duke? Is that yummy? Duke approved. Alright, the other two gotta have a little bit. There you go, Basil. And my favorite gets two. There you go. Rest in mind. So there is a heat there, subtle heat. Give me them puppy dog eyes. It's getting hotter as it as it goes. It's building heat. It's like meat gum. Okay, now I can feel heat all in my mouth. Um, I would say it's probably a, a one or a two, but I like really hot stuff. I think for the common person, it'd probably be a five. Um, everything spicy he wouldn't even think it's hot but um, I'm not a chili head I do like hot stuff um, and that's definitely warm now it's cold out been cold out the last couple days so this is good this will keep me warm almost as well as a shot of moonshine